In the intricate web of human connections, there are times when we must confront the difficult truth that some relationships, no matter how cherished, are no longer beneficial to our well-being. Guided by ancient wisdom, we can discern when it is necessary to let go, even of those closest to us. Here are 10 signs that suggest it might be time to end a relationship, regardless of whether it's with family or friends. Number one, constant disrespect. Respect is the foundation of any meaningful relationship. It's the glue that holds together friendships, family ties and partnerships. When someone consistently disrespects you, it slowly eats away at your sense of self-worth and dignity. This kind of behavior should never be tolerated as it has the power to deeply affect your emotional and mental well-being. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, once said the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. This means that instead of lowering yourself to the level of someone who disrespects you, you should rise above their behavior. Uphold your own standards and values and don't let their actions define your response. By maintaining your dignity and self-respect, you set a powerful example for others and protect your own inner peace. Constant disrespect can take many forms. It might be someone who frequently belittles you, dismisses your opinions, or undermines your efforts. It could also be someone who regularly violates your boundaries or treats you as if your feelings don't matter. These actions, whether subtle or overt, are harmful and should not be overlooked. In relationships where disrespect is a recurring issue, it's important to assess the situation honestly. Ask yourself whether this behavior is a one-time occurrence or a pattern. Occasional misunderstandings or disagreements are normal in any relationship, but persistent disrespect is a clear sign of a deeper problem. If someone habitually disrespects you, it indicates a lack of regard for your feelings and well-being. One of the key teachings of Stoicism is the importance of self-respect and personal integrity. Epictetus, another Stoic philosopher, emphasized that we should focus on what is within our control and let go of what is not. You cannot control how others treat you, but you can control how you respond. Choosing to distance yourself from those who fail to show respect is a powerful way to take control of your own life and maintain your self-respect. Setting boundaries is crucial when dealing with disrespect. Clearly communicate your expectations and let the other person know that their behavior is unacceptable. Stand firm in your boundaries and don't allow them to be crossed. This is not about being confrontational or starting a conflict, but about protecting your own mental and emotional health. It's also important to surround yourself with people who respect and uplift you. Seek out relationships that are based on mutual respect, understanding and support. These are the connections that will help you grow and thrive. By choosing to spend your time and energy on positive relationships, you reinforce your own self-worth and create a more fulfilling life. Sometimes the best course of action is to walk away from a relationship that is consistently disrespectful. This can be a difficult decision, especially if the person is a close friend or family member. However, prioritizing your own well-being is essential. As Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, said, associate with people who are likely to improve you, letting go of toxic relationships opens up space for healthier, more supportive connections to enter your life. Number two, emotional manipulation. Emotional manipulation is a harmful behavior that undermines your autonomy and erodes trust in relationships. Manipulative individuals often use deceitful tactics to control or influence others, making you feel uncertain, guilty or dependent. Recognizing and addressing emotional manipulation is crucial for maintaining your emotional well-being and personal integrity. Epictetus, a renowned Stoic philosopher, advised make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. This wisdom teaches us to focus on what we can control and let go of what we cannot. When dealing with emotional manipulation, it is vital to recognize the behaviors and take steps to protect yourself. Manipulators often use subtle and deceptive tactics. They might twist your words, play on your emotions, or make you question your own reality. This can leave you feeling confused, anxious, and dependent on them for validation. 
The key to combating manipulation is awareness and assertiveness. First learn to recognize the signs of emotional manipulation. These can include frequent lying, guilt tripping, shifting blame and making you doubt your own perceptions. Manipulators may also use flattery or excessive praise to gain your trust, only to exploit it later. By identifying these tactics, you can better understand the manipulator's intentions and protect yourself from their influence. Once you recognize manipulative behaviors, it's important to set clear boundaries. Communicate your limits firmly and assertively. Let the manipulator know what behaviors are unacceptable and be consistent in enforcing these boundaries. This not only protects your emotional well-being, but also sends a clear message that you will not tolerate manipulation. Taking control of your emotional well-being also involves seeking support from trusted friends, family or professionals. Sharing your experiences with others can provide you with valuable perspectives and help you regain your confidence. Surrounding yourself with supportive and trustworthy individuals can reinforce your sense of self-worth and resilience. Removing yourself from toxic influences is sometimes necessary for your own well-being. If a relationship is consistently manipulative and harmful, consider distancing yourself or ending the relationship altogether. This can be a difficult decision, especially if the manipulator is someone close to you. However, prioritizing your emotional health is essential for leading a fulfilling and balanced life. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of self-control and inner strength. By taking charge of your own emotions and responses, you empower yourself to break free from manipulation. Focus on cultivating inner virtues such as wisdom, courage and self-discipline. These qualities will help you navigate difficult situations and maintain your integrity. Number 3. Lack of Support True relationships are built on mutual support and encouragement. When someone consistently dismisses or undermines your goals and aspirations, it can be a sign that the relationship is no longer beneficial to your well-being. Supportive relationships are essential for personal growth and happiness, and recognizing the absence of support is crucial for maintaining a healthy and fulfilling life. Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, advised associate with people who are likely to improve you this wisdom underscores the importance of surrounding yourself with individuals who uplift and support you. Being in relationships that lack support can drain your energy, diminish your self-esteem and hinder your progress. Supportive relationships provide a foundation of trust and encouragement. They help you feel valued, understood and motivated. When you share your dreams and aspirations, supportive people listen, offer constructive feedback and celebrate your achievements. They stand by you during challenging times and cheer for your successes. In contrast, relationships that lack support can be detrimental to your emotional and mental health. If someone constantly dismisses your ideas, belittles your efforts or shows indifference to your achievements, it can lead to feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt. This negative influence can impede your growth and make it difficult to pursue your goals with confidence. Recognizing a lack of support in your relationships is the first step toward positive change. Pay attention to how the people around you respond to your aspirations and challenges. Do they show genuine interest and encouragement or do they dismiss your dreams and make you feel insignificant? Understanding these dynamics can help you identify relationships that may need re-evaluation. Once you recognize a lack of support, it's important to communicate your feelings. Express your needs and concerns openly and honestly. Sometimes people may not realize how their behavior affects you and discussing it can lead to positive changes. However, if the person continues to dismiss or undermine you, it may be necessary to reconsider their role in your life. Surrounding yourself with supportive individuals is crucial for personal growth. Seek out friends, family members and mentors who inspire and motivate you. These people will help you stay focused on your goals and provide the encouragement you need to overcome obstacles. Building a network of positive and supportive relationships can enhance your well-being and boost your confidence. 
In some cases, distancing yourself from unsupportive relationships may be necessary for your own well-being. While this can be a difficult decision, prioritizing your emotional health is essential. Letting go of toxic relationships creates space for healthier connections and allows you to focus on your own growth and happiness. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of inner strength and resilience. By choosing to associate with supportive individuals, you cultivate an environment that fosters personal development and well-being. Seneca's advice to associate with people who are likely to improve you reminds us to seek out relationships that contribute positively to our lives. Number four, persistent negativity. A constant flow of negativity can sap your energy and spirit. Being around people who consistently focus on the negative aspects of life can be draining and demoralizing. It's important to recognize when someone's persistent negativity is affecting your well-being and take steps to protect your mental peace. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, wisely said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This quote highlights the importance of taking control of your own thoughts and reactions rather than being influenced by external negativity. Protecting your mental peace involves stepping away from those who only see the negative side of life. Negativity can be contagious. When you are surrounded by people who constantly complain, criticize or dwell on problems, it can affect your own outlook and mood. You may find yourself feeling more pessimistic, anxious or discouraged. Over time, this negative influence can take a toll on your mental and emotional health. It's important to recognize the signs of persistent negativity in your relationships. Are there people in your life who always seem to focus on what's wrong rather than what's right? Do they bring up problems without offering solutions? Do they leave you feeling drained and defeated after every interaction? Identifying these patterns can help you understand the impact of negativity on your well-being. Once you recognize persistent negativity, consider how to address it. One approach is to set boundaries with negative individuals. You can limit your interactions with them, avoid engaging in negative conversations, or steer discussions towards more positive topics. Setting boundaries helps protect your mental space and maintain a more positive outlook. Communicating your concerns can also be effective. Sometimes, people may not realize the impact of their negativity. By expressing how their behavior affects you, you might encourage them to adopt a more positive perspective. However, it's important to be prepared for the possibility that some people may be resistant to change. Surrounding yourself with positive influences is another crucial step. Seek out friends, family members and colleagues who have a more balanced and optimistic view of life. Positive individuals can inspire and uplift you, helping you maintain a more hopeful and resilient mindset. Building a supportive and encouraging social network can significantly enhance your overall well-being. In some cases, it may be necessary to distance yourself from persistently negative individuals. While this can be a difficult decision, prioritizing your mental health is essential. Letting go of toxic relationships creates space for healthier connections and allows you to focus on your own growth and happiness. Stoic philosophy teaches us to cultivate inner strength and resilience. By choosing to protect your mental peace and surround yourself with positive influences, you are taking control of your own well-being. Marcus Aurelius's wisdom reminds us that our true power lies in our ability to manage our own thoughts and reactions. Number five, toxic behavior. When a person's actions consistently bring harm or distress, it indicates a toxic relationship. Toxic behavior can manifest in various ways, such as manipulation, disrespect, negativity, or constant criticism. Recognizing these harmful patterns is crucial for maintaining your well-being and mental health. Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, taught that we should focus on what we can control. He wisely advised, make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. This principle is especially relevant when dealing with toxic behavior. While we cannot change others, we can control our response to them. 
Consistently harmful actions from someone can drain your energy, undermine your confidence and create a hostile environment. When you find yourself in such a relationship, it's important to evaluate the impact on your well-being. Are you constantly feeling anxious, stressed or unhappy after interactions with this person? Do you find yourself dreading their company? These are clear signs of a toxic relationship. One of the most empowering actions you can take in the face of toxic behavior is to walk away. This doesn't necessarily mean ending the relationship entirely, but rather distancing yourself to protect your mental and emotional health. Setting boundaries is a crucial step in this process. By limiting your exposure to toxic behavior, you create a space for healing and growth. Walking away from toxic dynamics requires courage and self-respect. It's a decision to prioritize your well-being over maintaining harmful ties. This choice aligns with the stoic principle of self-preservation and the pursuit of inner peace. Marcus Aurelius, another stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of inner strength, stating you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. By choosing to distance yourself from toxic behavior, you reclaim control over your life. This decision allows you to focus on positive relationships that nurture and support you. It also frees up your energy to pursue your goals and aspirations without the constant drain of negative influences. In some cases, communicating your concerns can help address the toxic behavior. However, it's important to recognize that not everyone is willing or able to change. If your efforts to improve the relationship are met with resistance or further harm, it may be best to step away. Surrounding yourself with supportive and positive individuals is essential for your well-being. Seek out friends, family members and colleagues who respect and uplift you. These relationships will help you build resilience and maintain a more balanced and joyful life. Stoic philosophy teaches us to cultivate resilience and focus on what we can control. In the face of toxic behavior, this means taking decisive action to protect your well-being. By walking away from harmful dynamics, you demonstrate self-respect and prioritize your mental and emotional health. Number six, violation of boundaries. Respecting boundaries is essential in any healthy relationship. Boundaries define what is acceptable behavior and what is not, ensuring mutual respect and understanding. When someone repeatedly violates your boundaries, they show a blatant disregard for your needs and values, undermining your sense of self-worth and well-being. Establishing and maintaining boundaries is a form of self-respect and is crucial for your mental and emotional health. Boundaries are not just physical, but also emotional and psychological. They protect your personal space, your time and your emotional energy. When someone crosses these lines, it can leave you feeling overwhelmed, disrespected and anxious. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, wisely said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength this teaching is particularly relevant when it comes to boundaries. While you cannot control others' actions, you can control how you respond to them. By firmly establishing your boundaries and taking action when they are violated, you assert control over your life and protect your peace of mind. When someone repeatedly disregards your boundaries, it is a clear sign that they do not respect you. This lack of respect can erode your self-esteem and lead to feelings of frustration and resentment. It's important to recognize these patterns early and address them promptly. Communicate your boundaries clearly and assertively. Let the other person know what behaviors are unacceptable and the consequences of crossing those lines. Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of surrounding yourself with positive influences. He advised, associate with people who are likely to improve you. Maintaining relationships with those who respect your boundaries and uplift you is vital for your personal growth and well-being. Conversely, distancing yourself from those who consistently violate your boundaries is necessary to protect your mental and emotional health. Setting boundaries can be challenging, especially with close friends or family members. However, it's essential to remember that maintaining your well-being should always be a priority. 
Establishing boundaries is not about being harsh or unkind, it's about protecting yourself and fostering healthier interactions. If someone continues to disregard your boundaries despite your clear communication, it may be time to reconsider their place in your life. This doesn't mean you have to sever all ties immediately, but creating some distance may be necessary. Reflect on how their behavior affects you and whether their presence in your life contributes positively or negatively to your overall well-being. Epictetus taught that we should focus on what we can control and let go of what we cannot. This principle applies to boundary violations as well. You cannot force someone to respect your boundaries, but you can control your response by enforcing consequences and deciding how much access they have to your life. Number seven, one-sided effort. Healthy relationships require effort from both parties. When one person is constantly giving while the other takes without reciprocating, it creates an imbalance that can lead to feelings of frustration and resentment. This imbalance can erode the foundation of trust and mutual respect that any meaningful relationship needs to thrive. Seneca, a renowned Stoic philosopher, wisely observed, the greatest wealth is to live content with little this teaching underscores the importance of valuing what we have and seeking contentment within ourselves rather than from external sources. When applied to relationships, it means recognizing and valuing our efforts and ensuring that they are met with reciprocal actions from others. In a one-sided relationship, you may find yourself investing time, energy and emotional support without receiving the same in return. This lack of reciprocity can drain your resources and leave you feeling unappreciated and undervalued. It's essential to recognize these patterns and address them before they cause significant harm to your well-being. Communication is key. Express your feelings and concerns to the other person in a calm and respectful manner. Let them know how the imbalance is affecting you and what you need to feel supported and valued. Sometimes people are unaware of their behavior and may be willing to make changes once they understand its impact. However, if the imbalance persists despite your efforts to communicate and resolve the issue, it may be necessary to reconsider the relationship. True relationships are built on mutual effort, where both parties contribute equally to support and uplift each other. When this balance is missing, the relationship can become a source of stress and negativity, rather than a positive influence in your life. Epictetus, another Stoic philosopher, taught us to focus on what we can control. In the context of relationships, this means recognizing that we cannot force others to change or reciprocate our efforts. What we can control is our response to the situation and our decisions about how much time and energy we invest in one-sided relationships. Maintaining self-respect is crucial. By valuing your efforts and recognizing your worth, you set a standard for how you deserve to be treated. This standard helps you attract and cultivate relationships that are balanced and mutually supportive. Remember, it is not selfish to expect reciprocity. It is a fundamental aspect of healthy, respectful relationships. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, emphasized the importance of focusing on our actions and thoughts rather than external circumstances. Apply this wisdom by assessing your contributions to the relationship and ensuring they align with your values and well-being. If your efforts are not being met with the same level of commitment, it may be a sign to step back and reassess the relationship's value in your life. Surround yourself with those who appreciate and reciprocate your efforts. Seek relationships that are based on mutual respect, support and understanding. By doing so, you create a network of positive influences that contribute to your growth and happiness. Number eight, lack of growth relationships should inspire personal growth and development. They should serve as a source of motivation, pushing us to achieve our goals and become better versions of ourselves. When a relationship stifles your progress or encourages stagnation, it may be holding you back from reaching your full potential. Continuous growth and learning are fundamental to a fulfilling life. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, emphasized the importance of self-improvement he believed that we should constantly strive to better ourselves and our understanding of the world. 
When a relationship fails to support this journey, it can become a hindrance rather than a help. A relationship that lacks growth can manifest in various ways. It might involve a partner or friend who discourages your ambitions, belittles your achievements, or is indifferent to your personal development. Such relationships can make you feel unmotivated and trapped in a cycle of mediocrity. Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, advised associate with people who are likely to improve you. This teaching highlights the importance of surrounding ourselves with individuals who challenge us, inspire us and support our aspirations. When a relationship fails to provide these elements, it can become a barrier to our progress. It's important to assess the relationships in your life and identify whether they contribute to your growth or hinder it. Reflect on how you feel after spending time with certain individuals. Do they leave you feeling energized and inspired or drained and demotivated? This reflection can help you determine which relationships are beneficial and which are not. Communication is key when dealing with relationships that lack growth. Express your feelings and aspirations to the other person and discuss how you can support each other in your personal development. Sometimes individuals are unaware of how their behavior affects you and may be willing to change once they understand its impact. However, if the relationship continues to stifle your growth, despite your efforts to address the issue, it may be time to reconsider its place in your life. It's crucial to prioritize your well-being and personal development over maintaining a stagnant relationship. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, taught us to focus on what we can control and let go of what we cannot. In this context, it means taking charge of your growth and making decisions that align with your goals. Seek relationships that challenge you to be your best self. Surround yourself with individuals who encourage your ambitions, celebrate your successes and support your journey of self-improvement. These relationships create a positive environment that fosters growth and helps you reach your full potential. Remember, personal growth is a lifelong journey. Marcus Aurelius said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. By taking control of your relationships and ensuring they contribute to your development, you empower yourself to live a more fulfilling and purposeful life. Number nine, dishonesty and betrayal. Trust is the cornerstone of any meaningful relationship. It forms the foundation upon which love, friendship and mutual respect are built. When trust is repeatedly broken through dishonesty and betrayal, it undermines the very essence of the relationship. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, emphasized the importance of living in accordance with nature. This includes embracing honesty and integrity as fundamental virtues in our interactions with others. For Aurelius, a life aligned with nature meant striving for moral goodness and authenticity. Dishonesty can manifest in various forms within a relationship. It might involve outright lies, deception or withholding crucial information. Betrayal, on the other hand, often involves breaking commitments, violating boundaries or acting against the best interests of the other person. When trust is shattered through dishonesty and betrayal, the consequences can be profound. It erodes the sense of security and safety that should characterize a healthy relationship. Without trust, communication becomes strained, intimacy diminishes and resentment builds. Seneca Another prominent Stoic philosopher believed that honesty was essential for maintaining inner peace and harmony. He wrote extensively about the importance of virtue and integrity in all aspects of life. For Seneca, dishonesty not only harms others but also damages our own character and moral integrity. To prioritize relationships built on trust and truth, it's essential to address dishonesty and betrayal directly. Communication is key in these situations. Express your feelings calmly and clearly and seek to understand the motivations behind the other person's actions. However, if dishonesty and betrayal persist, despite attempts to reconcile, it may be necessary to reassess the relationship. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what is within our control. This includes making decisions that align with our values and well-being. 
Epictetus, another Stoic philosopher, taught that we should seek to live in harmony with our principles and values. This requires integrity and honesty in our actions and relationships. By prioritizing trust and truth, we create a foundation of respect and authenticity that nurtures healthy connections. Number 10. Emotional Drain Relationships are meant to enrich our lives, offering companionship, support and a sense of belonging. However, when a relationship consistently leaves you feeling emotionally drained and depleted, it may be time to reassess its value and impact on your well-being. Seneca, the Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of protecting our inner peace. He believed that maintaining emotional balance and tranquility is crucial for leading a fulfilling life. For Seneca, relationships should contribute positively to our mental and emotional health, enhancing our overall sense of well-being. Emotional drain in a relationship can manifest in various ways. It may involve constantly feeling stressed, anxious or unhappy when interacting with the other person. This could result from unresolved conflicts, constant negativity or a lack of emotional support and validation. If a relationship consistently drains your emotional energy rather than replenishing it, it can have detrimental effects on your mental health and overall quality of life. Marcus Aurelius, another Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, emphasized the importance of self-care and self-respect. He believed that prioritizing our own well-being is essential for maintaining inner strength and resilience. To address emotional drain in a relationship, it's important to first acknowledge and validate your feelings. Recognize that feeling emotionally exhausted is a valid response to ongoing stress or negativity within the relationship. Seneca taught that understanding our emotions and responding with clarity and wisdom is key to achieving inner peace. Communication is essential in addressing emotional drain. Express your feelings calmly and assertively to the other person. Share specific instances or behaviors that contribute to your emotional exhaustion and discuss potential solutions or changes that could improve the situation. However, if efforts to improve the relationship are met with resistance or if the emotional drain persists, despite attempts to resolve issues, it may be necessary to reassess the relationship's value and impact on your well-being. Stoicism encourages us to focus on what is within our control. This includes making decisions that promote our emotional health and overall happiness. Ultimately, relationships should nourish our spirit and contribute positively to our lives. They should provide emotional support, encouragement and a sense of mutual respect and understanding. If a relationship consistently leaves you feeling emotionally drained and depleted, it may be a sign that it no longer serves your best interests. In conclusion, ending a relationship even with family or close friends is never an easy decision. However, guided by the principles of self-control, inner peace and personal growth, we can make choices that align with our highest selves. True strength lies in our ability to make decisions that foster an environment where we can thrive. By recognizing these signs and taking courageous steps, we honor our journey towards a virtuous and fulfilling life. Remember, the essence of our well-being and growth often depends on the company we keep.